Hey guys, uh, so in this video what we're going to be doing is setting up a DHCP server um, uh, on this topology right here. Uh, what we have going on is an ISP router where we're going to have a static route over to R2. Uh, on router 2, we're going to have our DHCP server set up where we're going to define uh, which subnets we would like to lease IP addresses to and what their default gateway is for each subnet. Uh, then we're going to move over to R1 and we're going to set up the DHCP relay agent. So all that really is is just going on to each interface and letting uh, each subnet know where the DHCP server lives. So to get everything all talking, uh, communicating with one another, what we've set up is EIGRP. And uh, you could use OSPF, whatever you prefer, but I just use EAGRP because I found it to be uh, a little quicker and easier for myself. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to set up EIGRP or the static and default routes because uh, we have covered this in previous videos. Um, also, what I, I will go ahead and mention too is uh, if you want to have a more detailed overview for these technologies, feel free to hop over to jmichael.ca. And over here, you're going to find the entire step-by-step -step process that you need to get uh, this lab set up appropriately. I've also included the, uh, a zip file with the running configurations. So you'll be able to follow along very easily with what's going on and see every little thing that uh, we've gotten taken care of in this lab today. But enough of that stuff. Uh, let's hop over onto router 2 and uh, get this started. So when you're setting up DHCP servers, um, first thing you're going to want to do is just take care of all the excluded addresses that you do not want um, to, uh, to, to lease out to your DHCP pools. So these addresses would be like default gateways, uh, DNS servers, or just anything that you do not want to have leased out. So how you do that is you just enter D IP DHCP excluded address, and the first address that you put in is going to be the first address that you would like to start excluding and the last one is going to be the address that you would like to um, finish excluding at so right here we're excluding everything from dot one all the way over to dot nine so if you take a look at our topology we have two different subnets that we're going to be leasing ip addresses out to so because we have two different subnets uh, we're going to have to do this command twice just to make sure that we include um, both ranges for each subnet that we do not want to be uh, leasing addresses out for. So we'll just take care of that. Alright, so now we've excluded some addresses, we can go ahead and start setting up our DHCP pool. So I'm using Packet Tracer 5, so um, there's only certain commands I'm going to be able to enter. Uh, I've outlined some other options that you'd be able to use if you're using Packet Tracer 6 or you're just on a router that has iOS 15 or later. So to get uh, DHC pool started, you go IP DHCP pool. And after you enter pool, you just enter the pool name. So because we're going to have a DHCP pool for this subnet, and a DHCP pool for this subnet. Um, how I like to name my pools is I just use the name of the interface for each respective subnet. So we'll take care of this subnet first. So my name's gonna be uh, IP DHCP pool. Because it's on R1, I'm gonna put it R1. And because it's on um, fast ethernet 101, I'm just gonna put uh, one right there. So after we have that taken care of, we just enter the network address for the subnet, which is uh, 1.0, and then we enter the subnet mask. So after we do that, we just have to let the DHCP pool know what the default gateway is for uh, this specific subnet. So for my configuration, I just put the first assignable address for my default gateway. So uh, the command is default router, 
there we go so now this dhcp pool has all the information it needs it has the name of the pool it has the network address and the subnet and it also knows what the default gateway is for that specific subnet so now that we've done that let's go ahead and set up the uh, dhcp pool for our other subnet uh, which is on fa00 and now we have to take care of the network address and then the uh, default gateway alright so we have two pools set up we have first pool for uh, the subnet with this network address and then we have our second pool with the subnet for this network address so now we only got one last thing to do uh, we have to go over to router one and go on to both the interfaces so interface f00 and uh, we're gonna have to let it know where the DHCP server is located so because we have a uh, um, because we're going to be leasing IP addresses to this subnet right here we're just going on to FA01 and FA00 and we're going to tell it where the DHCP server is so our DHCP server is located at uh, uh, 2.254 so the command to do that is IP helper 192.168.2.254 so now um, F00 right over here knows where to find the DHCP server. Uh, now we just go over to our other interface that has this uh, subnet right over here. And we also just have to let it know where the DHCP server is. And we use the IP helper address command for that. All right. So we've just set up our DHCP server we've also set up our relay agent on router 1 now let's just go to packet tracer and uh, just try to see if we can get an IP address lease so to do this we just move over to desktop and you click on IP configuration and then just hit DHCP so as you can see the DHCP request was successful uh, the IP address that we released is going to be right over there, our subnet mask, and the gateway, which we provided in the DHCP pool command. Right over here. So let's just go check out our other PC now. Desktop, IP configuration, just click on DHCP and successful request so that's it that's how you set up dhcp uh, if you're doing this on the test it's probably not going to get too complicated all that you're going to really want to make sure that you include is um, your network address for the subnet that you want to lease the ip to uh, the default gateway for that network and if you're on ios 15 you could be setting up the uh, the amount of days uh, that you'd like to lease each IP address out for. You can find more information about that on jmichael.ca. So feel free to hop over to this site, get the PKT files, try to run through it yourself. The running configurations can be found there. And um, yeah, any other information you're gonna need. So thanks for checking out this video and we'll see you next time.